Hello everyone and welcome to iBasiac and welcome, yes, to another unboxing, an unboxing of another vacuum with a smiley face. Yes, my Henry was getting rather lonely all alone and um, he tried chatting with my SIBO vacuums but they could only respond in German and there was no communication there. So I thought Henry needed a friend to keep him company during those long dark nights in the cupboard. So what better to give Henry as a companion than James. Now I don't know if James is related to Henry, but I'm, I'm going to say that James is Henry's little brother. He's certainly cheaper and lighter. Is he going to pick up as well? Well, tune in for my demo because of course, once I've unboxed James, I will be demonstrating him on my channel. So subscribe and you'll be updated when I upload the demo. But before I can demo James, we need to release him from his box. So if I just get my hand in, oh. there we go, and James of course is made in Britain in Somerset. Now it said on the website that this was an 800 watt model, I'm not sure if that's correct because Henry I think is only 620 watts, so I, th I have a feeling the website got the details wrong. But Possibly not. This is a model JVP 180. It's certainly one of the new generation James's because it has the new redesigned floor tool for the lower energy. It's also got the parking bracket. So here we go. What's in here? So here we have the instruction, the owner instruction manual for James. This says JVP 180 11. It says Ecovac. Mmm, I think it's only a single speed. Probably that's common with all James's. Oh look, fitting the face and it's showing Henry. I don't know why they show fitting the face because I believe that the face should be fitted. Ah, there's no energy. There's no energy labelling on this. I don't think there's a, a switch. Oh, we'll have to see. Normally inside the Oh yes, it has got energy. It's energy efficiency class A, cleaning performance on carpet C, on hard floor C, uh, dust re-emission C, 72 decibels R. It's 620 watts, I thought it was. I knew this website got it wrong, it's not 800 watts. 620, similar to Henri. Well, pretty standard. These are exactly the same small tools you get with the Henry. The dusting brush, the all-purpose nozzle with the slide-on brush attachment, the crevice tool and the little adapter that enables you to attach any of the tools directly onto the hose without needing the metal handle. I was going to say chrome, I believe it's aluminium in James, which makes him a little bit lighter. Here's the carpet and floor nozzle. Plastic base, again, exactly the same one as you get supplied now with the new Henry. So it's a good quality nozzle, a much greater improvement to the old nozzles that used to be supplied with these cleaners. Far better performance, I've found. A hose, and again, it's a tapered hose just like the new Henry, so it's thicker at the cleaner end and thinner at the handle end. And it seems, seems quite long. I'm not sure if it's a little bit shorter than Henry's, I'm not sure. I think it could be the same. Anyway, it's a good length of hose. I'll just check, see if it shows me the hose length in the instructions. I'm not sure if it does. We'll be able to find that out, I'm sure. It could well be the same length of hose. It does seem a nice length of hose, but no, I can't tell you that at the moment. Here's one of the tubes, much, much lighter than the Henry tube. So if you want something that's like a Henry, but a bit lighter to handle, this could be the one for you. Two tubes, you get 32 millimeter friction fit. Here's the handle. Again, it's the same sort of shape as the Henry handle. You can put it both ways. You can have the hose on this end or this end. Slightly different uh, suction control. Ooh, it's even got, seems to be a little 
don't know if you'll be able to see, inside there, there seems to be a sort of little foamy type filter thing. How does that work? Oh, oh. So it just turns. You've got a plus and a minus, if you can just see there. So turn it towards the plus, when well it's on the plus, for full suction and turn it that way for reduced suction, but nothing opens up. It remains covered, but of course this little bit of foamy stuff in here will allow the suction to vent. So that's different, a little bit different to the Henry one anyway. Okay, another good thing I do like about pneumatics, they don't, I don't think they supply as many as they used to, but you do get three spare dust bags and I think you get one fitted. I'm pretty sure there'll be one fitted inside. But same dust bags as Henry. Pneumatic HEPA flow, very much improved on the old paper bags. Strong, got a nice sort of a silicon seal that ensures a tight fit when you're putting it in the machine to keep the dust in and a little plastic cover to keep the dust in when you remove it to dispose of it. Right, out comes James, nothing else in the box. So James is a single speed vacuum cleaner, I've noticed. So we just have the single on off switch in green and this little red mains on light I'm assuming that just stays illuminated all the time. I'm not sure, I'll soon find out though. And we've got a little swing ticket. I'll just remove that to the energy label. I've already seen all the details for that. Try and get it off. There we go, nearly there. So this is the energy rating. So C isn't bad, you know, for a cylinder vacuum. There are not many A rated cylinder vacuums for performance on carpet, so C isn't a bad result really. So as I say it's an A for energy, C for emissions, C. So it's C slightly better than average because it goes from A to G the ratings. So C isn't bad, especially when you think how affordable James is. James really is a, a most affordable way of owning a domestic pneumatic vacuum. It certainly feels lighter. One thing of course James lacks that Henry does have is the flex rewind. If you can see in the top of James the flex is stored underneath this part here instead of having the cord, ra cord reel that you get with Henry's and Hetty's and yes just Henry's and Hetty's. Other pneumatics have it too. Here's your parking bracket. The exhaust vent here. Two strong wheels either side and two caster wheels at the front. Here's the rating sticker. Let me just show you that if you can see there. There we go. Pneumatic International, England, 620 watts. So there he is, James's happy face. Again, the newer. They introduced this a while ago, but it, it's it's slightly newer style, having a sort of a 3D effect face. And of course, round here forms the bumper, so it doesn't bang into your furniture and cause any damage. I like it. I like the James. Nice bright colour for doing your cleaning in. Similar way of getting into the bag, two clips either side. You can remove James's top. And there we have underneath here, there's the suction motor. The filter, again it just looks very like the Henry. It's probably the same filter that Henry uses. And here's the bag fitted inside the bucket. Not fitted on very well, I'll push that on properly. So here's the collection bucket. And it goes this way up, oops. So with the writing uppermost, you need to push it onto the black support tube. But push it right on this time, because it wasn't quite pushed on. That's it, that's better. It's a bit of a tighter fit now. Back goes the filter. 
I'm, al I'm already liking this cleaner. If it performs anything like Henry, and I can't see why not, because it's a, I assume it's the same motor. It's the same wattage motor, it's got the same floor head. So when I do my demo of this, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to perform more or less like Henry. But he is a little bit lighter than Henry. Possibly, though, a little bit noisier. Here's a little... I don't know what you call that bit there. This is slightly different. I did have a James a while ago. My James didn't have this part at the top, which I assume is removable. Yes, it is. This part's removable because James was sold as a cleaner that you could... I don't know how much different it is, actually. With my James, I remember it showing you you could put some polish and dusters and things into the top. But that looks a little bit shallower. I'm not sure if it is. I'm sure people who know more about pneumatics than I do. Big Mac Worcester, if you're watching. I'm sure you've uh, got more info on pneumatics. I've had many pneumatics in the past and sold them on. You know, several machines. But they all looked very similar, of course. Pneumatic don't really change their machines dramatically, do they? So, I'm not sure if you leave this off when you're cleaning or put it back on. Because as I said, my James didn't have that. It's showing me, uh, it's showing me moving it to get at the flex. Um, I suppose I could leave it off when I'm cleaning. It doesn't really show you, because all the, all the instructions mainly just pictures, and it just shows you just shows somebody removing that, um, I don't know what that would be called, that piece. There will be a proper name for it. Just shows, it shows it in the middle there just being removed. But there's nothing to uh, stop you from popping it back on, I suppose, if you want to have it back on like that. Right then. James, I'm going to plug you in. Let's see if you are any noisier than your big brother, Henry. With James plugged in, I can see that that little red light on the top illuminates to show you that it's plugged in. I'm wondering if that stays on all the time. I'll soon find out when I switch him on. Let's pop the hose in. Exactly the same fitting. Screw in until he put it tightly on. So there we go. That's his nose in place. They are rather cute, aren't they? They do look very different when you take the faces off. I do think it's the face that uh, attracts... I know a lot of, lot of young VAC fans, a lot of children like Henry and Hetty and James and Charles and George and all the other pneumatics with a face because, well, they're kind of cute, aren't they? Right, let's see, James, let's see how noisy you are. It's hard to judge. I'm, I'm possibly a little bit noisier than Henry. I'll have to do a sort of comparison video, I think. Of course, that's another difference between James and Henry. Henry has the fold-down handle, and it's just a fixed handle. But I think... I, I don't know. I think I prefer James. I think it'll be a lot easier to pull along around the home somehow. And the, being a little bit lighter, it does make him very good. Yes, I like it. I like it very much. Sorry, I like him very much, it. I'm sorry about that, James. I didn't mean it, honestly. I know you've got a personality. Right, where are your shoes? What have I done with them? They were here a minute ago. Here they are. So these, again, make the machine lighter. Very, very, very light. The aluminium tubes, as opposed to the sort of chrome, chrome ones that Henry and Hetty come with. But so if you want something lighter, this is certainly worth looking at. Because, as any on, anyone who knows, they are good, robust, reliable vacuums, these. And, of course, made in Britain. Apart from, I don't think this head is. I think this head is made in Germany. I'm not sure. It's certainly a German design of head. I've had many vacuums, Hoover vacuums and German ones, that have got this 
very same design, although some of them do have the metal sole plate rather than the all plastic one. So that pops in at the end, on the end, like that. There we go, let's give it a twist. That is a bit of a shame though, and I've said it before, and some people have also in reviews have commented that the hose, the tubes especially, tend to sort of get stuck together and are hard to remove. And I would like to see a telescopic tube. You can of course buy them to fit this model, a telescopic tube, quite cheaply. You don't have to get genuine ones, you can buy generic 32mm accessories. But to make it a little bit more domestic friendly, I would give it a telescopic tube and a click fitting similar to sort of Milo and Sebo cleaners so the, the tools aren't sort of getting stuck. If they release with a nice click, you know, fastening a button, it would, would improve things. But anyway, that's a little, little gripe I have. It's not major. Now, this retails a little bit less than Henry. I mean, I got mine quite cheaply. I can't remember. It was 70-something. But I think you can expect to pay up to £90. Depends where you go. So it's not all, you know, it's not much, much cheaper than Henry. But if you want something a bit lighter than Henry, that's still got the reliability and sort of robustness of Henry, and of course the nice long cable and the long hose, then James could, could be your man. Oh. a bit of trouble, oh I had it on reduced suction, I'm having a bit of trouble moving James on this particular rug, it is a little bit, it's because it's got a loop pile. I'll just turn the camera around and we'll just test James on a bit of my carpet. Okay I'll just give James another little go. do this nozzle you can feel it gripping the carpet it's pulling up the carpet not too difficult to push but it certainly seems to be a lot more effective than the older style nozzle so there we go that's the end of my unboxing of the pneumatic James vacuum cute little fella who I'll be putting through his paces in a thorough demo later on on my channel so stay tuned for that I'll be testing James on uh, a load of dirt on carpets, I'll be testing them on floors, seeing how far this long hose reaches up the stairs and uh, giving my full conclusions after I've lived with James for a little while longer. So until the next time, for me and James, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.